In this step you are going to build an additional page for your website and you are going to link two pages together and this will kind of sum up the most basic skills that you will need to have for making money online. There will be easier ways to do this but you can just kind of follow these steps. It's very straightforward um, and just follow these steps. This is something that you will be doing in your internet marketing career. You'll be doing this you know at least 10 times a day. Um, if you're really building stuff. Now there are easier ways to do this now but you should really understand the basics behind it and so we'll go ahead and do this here and this is just the final step of putting all this information together. So your site right now only has one page and it only links out. It doesn't link to itself, doesn't link anywhere within itself, anything like that. So what we're going to do is create an additional page on your website so we'll go ahead and just create a new page file new yours might be different because you might be using a different uh, WYSIWYG editor but in any case this is the WYSIWYG editor I'm using so on this page then you can put whatever you want what I suggested putting on the uh, on this page would just be something to say like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog or whatever so we'll just follow that example but it could be anything that you want uh, but we'll just go ahead and put something on this page this is my second page I have ever built it's pretty boring but give me a break I'm new to this cool great done built a web page we're going to go ahead and save this. The dash. You want to use dashes instead of uh, underscores or anything else. So separate words with dashes. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And go ahead and save that file. You'll see now this is called the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and this is called index. So now instead of the words the lazy dog linking to three money methods we're going to link it to this page. So in order to do that I go ahead and click insert hyperlink and you'll see the text is the lazy dog. I'm going to link it now I can link it finding the file on my computer so I'll go ahead and click browse here yours might not have that option but you can just if it does browse and find the file all right and I'll go ahead and click that file click OK and you'll see over here this will change the link itself will change as soon as I click OK actually it didn't get rid of the other one but now the lazy dog is going to link to the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is just extraneous code at this point because it was my old link. Or go ahead and save this and I'm going to go back to FileZilla. Inside of FileZilla I'm going to click refresh. I have index.html and I have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. What I'm going to do now is upload my index page and the other page. So how I do that is I hold shift or I hold control, either one of those. Control selects the individual one and shift selects everything in a list. So I will go ahead and take both of these files and I will drag and drop them and they're going to move from my computer to my web host. Do you want to overwrite this? Yes I do. And now both of those are sitting on or on the on the website on the server so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my web browser I'm going to go to my page again yours will just be your index page which by the way is the same thing here we've already covered this but just to reinforce it so index.html is the same thing as what you see at that at the root is what this is called so now I'm going to go ahead and click reload this page and now if I click on this or if I roll over it you can see down here that it shows up with the file I'm linking to so I'm going to go ahead and click on this the lazy dog this is my second page I've ever built it's pretty boring but give me a break I'm new to this there's the page we built
now they're at the end of the internet. <laughs> they have navigated to a page, if someone's visiting your web page, that they can't get anywhere from here. So we're going to add one more link from this page and we're going to link it back to the main page of our site. So we're going to go to the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and on here we're going to say go home. Whatever, whatever you want to put on here. This is now your web page and you've now learned the skills to learn how to do this. We're going to go ahead and insert a link. That link is going to say whatever your site is. In my case, it's I could just link it to the file too. I could link it to the index. So I could go browse, open, and link to the index. But what I'm going to do instead is link to my page. So www. You'll put your domain name here, striveforimpact.com slash tmm. That's where my files are living. Yours are going to live at the root of your site, which is whatever your domain name is. All right, go ahead and click OK. And go ahead and go home, it says. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click Save. I'm going to go over to my FTP editor. I'm going to click Refresh. The page that I edited, remember, was the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'm going to take this, upload it to my page. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite the page I built. Yes, I sure do. I'm going to open up my web browser. I'm going to refresh the page that I built. And now I'm going to go ahead and click Go Home. So now I've built a loop. I can go from my index page to my lazy dog page to back to my index page. Lazy dog, index, lazy dog, index. You have now completed the first eight steps of the basics you need to know for building things online. These basic skills you will refer to a lot in your internet marketing career. You'll be able to come back to these skills and be able to do all kinds of things with them. But this is really like learning, you know, just the most basic two-step in dance or, you know, it's like learning how to run and catch. Um, those are things that you had to learn at some point in your life if you ever wanted to play sports. These are running and catching or learning the basic step for a dance. You'll see from this point forward the information starts becoming more involved but also we're going to give you an easier way to do all of these steps uh, starting in step 9. Really these skills you'll refer back to these over and over. Thank you very much for completing the first eight steps. Make sure once you've completed these you go and post a comment and say I did it. I completed the first eight steps. Here's the page you go to to check them out. What's my next step? Then go on to step nine at freemoneymethods.com. Thank you.